Hello traders, welcome again to the Minority Channel. This morning we're looking at GBP USD for a potential high of the day sell opportunity. The pattern has already been created, right? We've set our risk. We know how much we're risking. We've set our target profit. We already entered this market. We're waiting for the dealers to see if we can move to our target profit. All right? So the first thing that you need to do is to identify the Asian range, which we did, right? Price break out of the Asian range, induce people to sell, and then they break above again, take out the orders. They have created the pattern for a potential high of the day for the sell. This is what we can be able to recognize, and this is what is on our playlist. Once all these confluences have been confirmed, we've accepted the risk, we've entered the market, and we're waiting to see if the dealers are going to give us the pips we're looking for in this particular day, this morning. All right? So, this channel, if it's your first time to be here on this channel, please kindly consider subscribing. Turn on the notification bell so that you don't get to miss any future uh, videos that will be uploading. Because this channel is only dedicated in showing you things that you need to look for, specific things you need to look for on the charts when you're looking for your trade opportunities. Alright? So, as we can see, we've identified the accumulation phase. We've identified the expansion phase. So we're only looking for the shift to take place, right? So once you are able to identify those three things, the accumulation phase, the expansion phase, and once the market are setting up and the only thing you're looking for is a pattern and that pattern must be in line with your directional bias, right? If you look at our video from the previous weeks, we've been looking at the directional bias on GBP USD and this pattern is in line with our directional bias, right? So the pattern is present, the timing is correct, let's wait and see if the dealers are going to move this price into our direction. So there are only two things that can happen here. Either the market is going to move into our direction and give us the pips that we're looking for, or the market is going to come and stop us, stop, us, stop, stop us out and issue a new signal for us to engage for a sell, but up to that point, we don't know what's going to happen at this point in time, but because of the backtesting and the lesson that we've done in the past, we know when the market gives us this pattern and it's in line with the directional bias, there is a highly probability that this market is going to move into our direction. So we just have to sit back, observe, watch and wait. Your work as a retail trader is to observe the, these three market phases. All right, the accumulation phase, the inducement phase, the trap phase, and then when the market is going to shift, that is when you come in and take advantage of that position and you enter the market. All right. So on this chart here, we can identify the accumulation phase from the Asian session. All right. After the Asian session, we can see the market induce people to continue buying. All right. The breakouts traders. After that, the market pull back again to induce more people to continue buying this move up. All right. So after that move up. They went and took the orders from the people who are selling because if they were selling at that breakout, their selling positions were above that Asian range. The market came back, took out those orders again. They have created a trap. So after this trap, this is where the inducement phase now is coming in because they have already accumulated enough orders from people who are buying this market. And now the only thing they're going to do is to shift the market against everyone and then they continue selling for the day. All right. So we enter this market after identifying those faces. We accept the risk. We enter the market. And this is how the market is moving, right? The market is moving into our direction. We just have to wait and see whether we're going to get our pips that we're looking for. If the market hits our target profit, we'll be out of this market and we call it a day. We come back the following day and look for a similar pattern with a target in mind of what we want to get out of the market and once the market gives us that, we just walk out of the market and come back again the next day, look for a similar pattern again, all right? So you have to develop a playbook of things that you're looking for in the market. You don't just come to the charts and see price moving into a certain direction and just want to jump in and move on with the market, all right? You have to wait for the, your playbook setup to develop. Wait, wait for that setup to develop. There are times that you can wait and wait 
it doesn't develop, and that day you don't get a trade. But there are several pairs that you can engage in, flip through, and look for those opportunities. But wait for a specific setup to show up on the charts. And once it shows up and it's in line with your directional buyers, accept the risk, enter the market, let the dealers do what they have to do. So that is what we did this morning, right? We identified the Asian accumulation range. We identified a setup. We identified a pattern. We identified our entry candlestick pattern. We've accepted the risk. We're waiting for the dealers to do whatever they have to do. All right? So if I was scalping, I would be already, I could be already out of the market. Right? But we have a target in place. We sit back. We wait for the dealers to play their book. Let them do what they have to do. Once they get to our target uh, position, they will take us out of the market. If it is your first time to be on this channel, kindly consider subscribing. Turn on the notification bell. You don't get to miss future videos that will be uploaded on this channel. All right? And a good number of you guys are just watching and not subscribing. Kindly consider subscribing. Let's grow this channel by, by the act of you subscribing and liking this video. It will help somebody somewhere else. This video will reach someone, someone somewhere who needs to see a content like this one. By just your action of subscribing to this channel and liking this video. Right? We just help the algorithms to send this message to many other traders who are willing to watch a video like this one and impact someone else's lives. Right? Please consider subscribing, turn on the notification bell, share this video, let's grow, right? So GBP USD is progressing well as projected and as anticipated. So we just sit back patiently, wait and see how the dealers will be rolling this book. And once they get to our target profit, we call it a day. Let's give it time. Let's observe it. You know, if we could have pulled price and take us to a profit one time as we want, we'll have pulled it. But remember, we are not in control. We let the dealers do what they have to do. Right, but it's progressing, progressing well. Just have our patience. Let's wait. Let's be patient and let's see how it goes. Check on this one here and see if this one works out as we want it. Okay. All right. So after this pullback, I'll put my profits into break even and let the rest run for the day because I will have locked in the profit even if the markets pull back and takes me out I've got nothing to lose All right and so we're riding down taking it easy so always remember observe the pattern the pattern the pattern that is most important and then observe the price behavior just look at how price is coming out of the asian range that is the start of how you're gonna look for your opportunities as long as you have your directional bias clear right you have identified your directional bias you understand your levels you understand your accounts you understand the cycle and now when it comes to the intraday trade opportunity right remember you are coming into the market looking for an opportunity when the opportunity is there you get into the market, you come out with whatever the market gives you, and then you get out. So at that point in time, that is where now you come and focus and observe and see how has price come out of the Asian range. That is the start. Look at the behavior. Have they gone above the Asian range? 
how many pips have they gone above the Asian range or, or have they gone up below the Asian range or are they working in the middle, right? So if they come above the Asian range, that is a, one of the best opportunities that you can wait for if the dealer is going to present that opportunity, right? If they're working in the middle without going above or below, I don't look at it, right? Because I don't like, I, I want to see an inducement. I need to see them doing some kind of activity, either above or below, right? So once they go above, I'll be waiting for a type one cell opportunity because it's in line with my directional bias right if it goes below i'll be waiting to see probably for a continuation setup depending on how far they have gone below the asian range all right but always observe look for the pattern if the pattern is present and it's in line with your directional bias you don't need to hesitate accept the risk take the trade whatever happens happens all right so we see the progress is doing good we came onto the charts we identify the Asian range, we identify the accumulation phase, we identify the, the we identified the inducement phase, and when the market was able to trap and shift, that is it. That is when we came in and we took our position, we accepted the risk, and this is the results we are getting out of that trade. Alright? So eventually my tech profit position was taken out, and indeed it has been a successful trading day it's just easy like that the process of identifying the pattern is easy but what happens after the identification now is what we need to work on thank you guys for always watching thank you always for coming back to watch these videos and eventually this is what the dealers were able to do all right identify the pattern accept the risk enter the market let the dealers do what they have to do. And when the dealers reward you, call it a day, come back the next day and look for a similar pattern, similar opportunities. Thank you guys. See you in the next one.